Yo, what's up, my Cyberox followers, or if you're not even a follower, hi, how are you? Today's tutorial is C++ for beginners number six. Booyah, and what we're going to learn today is about square rooting. Alright, now keep in mind, this is for an educational purpose only. That's right, that does not mean it's a cheating purpose. So don't make this program and go say, oh, well, hey, I can make this program. I can use it to cheat on school. Which I do not recommend. But if you do do it, tell me how it works out. <laughs> Alright, so in order to square root stuff on here, we have to include another function. Or another library. So we're going to type in include. Hey, I-N-C-L-U-D-E. I have two little less than greater than. And now, y'all ready for this? Ultimate code right here. Ready? C. Alright, alright. Now, M-A-T-H. Booyah, right there. That's like the easiest code you can ever put in here. And basically, it's including the C math library of all C++. Or most of it. It includes, like, some stuff you can do with C math. And C math is C++ math. So, it's very easy, very simple. So, let's go and get started. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a couple of integers. We're going to make three, actually. We're going to name them. Name this one S1. We're going to set it equal to 300. End it. And we're going to copy this and paste it three times. We're going to go up by 3, 2. Alright, so this one's going to be a 6, and this one's going to be a 9. This is going to be 2, and this one's going to be 3. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put some spacing between that. And then we're going to see out. And this is where it's going to get fun. Alright. And we're going to end L. Stop chewing on my stuff, cat. Alright, now in here we're going to type in the square root of 300 is and we're going to put that right there so it looks nice and over here we're going to type in S Q R T and we're going to put in two little brackets of 9 and 0 and we're going to type in S1 now the reason for this is because if we did not add the br um, brackets right here it would say sqrt s1 the computer don't understand that so it only understands stuff within the brackets so if you're square rooting you would put that in there so we're going to um, go ahead and come down here hit enter again we're going to type in c out so we're just going to end the line in del here now we're going to copy this whole code because i'm lazy i know it and then we're going to multiply it by 6. Then add another one. Now it's 9. Then we just basically come over here and put it 2 and 3. And there you go. A uh, simple program. A lot of copying and pasting. Your best friend for most cases like HTML. I copy and paste a whole bunch. But um, now what this is going to do is print on the screen the square root of 300 is. And it's going to square root the 300 of 300. It's also going to square root the uh, square root of 600, and it will show up. And it's also going to square root 900, which will also show up. So we're going to come over here, execute, compile, and run. And we're going to see what this program does. There we go, it popped up. So we're going to come over here, we're going to shrink this. Come over here. And there you have it. The square root of 30... Or 300 is 17.3205. The square root of 600 is 24.49 or 49, and the square root of 900 is 30. Ha 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 ha! Well, there you go. That's how to square root stuff. Um, cat's tongues are rough, man, like sandpaper. All right, so that doesn't. I mean, you can also try all kind of things. You can also make it a double. Um, I don't suggest it because it's kind of confusing. But, um, but yeah, that's how to square root anything with the square root function in C++. So let's go ahead and break down like a fraction one more time. We made an integer, which is a whole number, 300, 600, 900. We named it S1, the variable, and we equaled it to 300. Um, integer, we made another one, S2, equaled it to 600. We made another integer, whole number, uh, S3 made it equal to 900. And we printed out on the screen the square root of 900 is, and we put, and we made it square root 300, which is S1. Also, do the same thing with the 600 and 900. So it's not that much coding to learn. Um, but my thing to you is practice this because it is a little bit confusing. Um, in fact, I wrote it down and I forgot about it, but I had to go back in my notes and say, oh, okay, this is what I had to do. And now I actually remember it again. So, yeah. But don't forget, also include C math. 
and C math is basically uh, C++ math and includes the um, square root function among other things and but yeah um, that's how square root things in C++ and uh, again I'm not responsible if you use this for your mathematic problems in school I'm not responsible for none of that this is an educational purpose only doesn't mean you go out and use it for the education Ha 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 That's ironic, ain't it? Alright, but, um, yeah. Thank you for watching Cyber Rocks, as always. God bless. And, uh, don't forget to run by my site. Check it out. See if you want to join Cyber Rocks. I'm open to any ideas, any selection, and any kind of, um, uh, profession with computers. Thank you for watching Cyber Rocks.